If, I, if, if I'm not preaching, if I'm not doing missions, my, my, my passion in the revelation God gave me was in household salvation. Every man in our family was an alcoholic for 200 years. Uh, Two young boys came to our town in Scotland, wow. had 96 converts in six weeks. 67 of them were Camerons. And God gave me a revelation of wow. this, and a vision. And in, in this vision, I saw people falling into hell. And I'll just I'll go to the point that I, I want to bring up. And from that vision of hell, people, damn people screaming, it changed my life. But from there, God took me by my hand into a field. Now listen to this. And in the field, it was beautiful. It was different than I'd seen this, this cascading folk going to hell. And I says, where is this? And he says, this, is, this field is your life. And there's, all my family were there. And it was, it was just wonderful to feel the, the, the relief from the horrors of the, the moving platform of people falling into hell. And in the middle of my field, my cousin Michael was, was sitting and he had chains around his neck. And there was silver chains. And I followed the chains along the ground. And to my utter horror, the devil was holding these two chains. And I looked, I looked at the, the Lord Jesus in this vision and I said, the devil's in my field. And this is what the Lord said to me. It's your field. I have given you authority over your yes. field. And when you understand that your life has been given to you by God and that yes. the field of your life, your family, your business your church, whatever it is that's in your field, that is your occupying yes. spot. That is the place where yes. God has ordained and anointed you to be. Yeah. He hasn't called everyone to Moldova. He hasn't called. Let me tell you where you're called to. Right. He has called you to the place that you are occupying right now. Yes. And as yes. Keith just said, listen, Powerful. Until, yeah. until the miracle happens, we can't all be sitting like this. Yes, yes. We've got to occupy and possess the land from yeah. Jordan to the sea. Yeah. We've got to say, God, if this is the situation we find ourselves in, in the political sphere, okay then, we're going to work from where we are right now. And I believe the darker yes, the night, and the night is going to get darker, trust me, you're going to hear and yeah. see stuff that will make your blood boil. And, and believe me, they're going to come out with stuff in the next few years, months and years, that will, that will horrify you because they are being motivated by powers of darkness. But you don't stand there and say, oh, well, then it's, well, okay. No, 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 no. This right. is the time for the church mm -hmm. to be the church. Yes. This is the time for us to stand up and say, I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Yes. And the more powerful, if, if you're a pastor watching us today, oh, if you're a Christian watching us today, listen to me. In this uncertain world we're living in, the thing that's more needed than anything else, someone to stand up and say, this is the way. Walk ye in it. Yes. And the moment that you occupy yes. the space that God has put you into, I promise you, people who are double-minded, people who are unsure of themselves, are going to look at you and say, can I come with you, please? Can I, can I follow you? And you have the power. The, the, the power of yes. life and death is in your tongue. And you have the authority, Pastor Friend. You have the authority, Mom, in your family. Your family doesn't have to go to hell. Dad, God wants to save your whole family. And if you stand up and say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yes. You've just occupied that space. You've just taken the authority yes. away from the devil. And you said to him, get out of my field. Get out of my field. My, my cousin Michael, in the vision, was held by chains. He died a couple of years ago as a missionary in the Philippine Islands. And he was lost. Hallelujah. He was lost. Yes, you have no concept mm. how, how much darkness he was in. And I began to pray for him because that was my faith point in my field. And I would pray. I said, God, I demand you let Michael go in Jesus' name. Get, get those chains off Michael's necks. And he ended up being a missionary and died on the mission field <laughs> in the Philippines. Wow. So you wow. have a space that God wants you to occupy yes. today. Don't yes. sit down and think, oh, well, oh, the election do, didn't go the way it is, or this is wrong and that's wrong. Get up and stand up yes. 
and be counted in these days. Don't, they're a Scottish yeah, word. Yeah. I don't know of an equivalent in American English. We call it mealy mouth. Do you have that? Do you say that, Keith, in, in, in America? Oh, yeah. Mealy mouth? I do. I, I was, I have a lot oh, of Scottish in my family. So yeah, if can, we do say There you go. Yeah. Well, with a first name like Keith, <laughs> I, Keith is where the area I come from in Scotland. Keith is, if, oh, yeah. That, Marshall Keith built a castle about a mile from my mom's house. But what I'm saying really? is this, don't be mealy mouth. Stand up for what you believe. Mm -hmm. And instead of saying, well, I'll just move over here and, and, and homosexuality is okay and this is okay and we'll do this and that's fine. Yeah. Stand up and say, hold on a second. Yes. I believe the, the, the report of the Lord. And when you do that, yes, you, sure. you become the occupier. You don't become the tenant. Yes. You become the occupier, the owner of the space. Yes, yes. Stuff, Man, Lord. hallelujah. You reminded me of, there's an Old Testament character named Shema, one of David's yeah. mighty men. And uh, Shema had a pea patch. He stood his ground on a patch of lentils. The Philistines are coming in. They're, they're harvesting. It's harvest time. Yeah. And everyone else abandoned him. Everyone else left the field, ran into the city. This little patch of ground was strategic because oh if the God. Philistines could gain it, they yes. could gain access to the fortress. Yes. One man, one man stood there. He didn't even have a sword. He just had a reaping tool in his hand. Oh That's all he had. But he made up his mind. He's going to stand his ground. And the scripture says God was with him. God was with him. That's so amazing. everyone watching, if we stand up, when we stand up, when we say, this may look insignificant. It may be a pea patch, but this is mine. God has given this place of ground to me. Mm. These children, these grand, this influence that I have, it may be small yes. in the eyes of the world, but this is my influence. It's my sphere. It's my realm. And I refuse to let the enemy have it. And if we stand, we may stand, feel like we're standing alone, but we'll never stand alone because the Lord alone. is with us. His angels will come. Hallelujah. Oh and like Shema, we'll win the day. In the name of Jesus, oh. we will win the day. And not only will we save our portion, but yes. it will be used by God in a greater plan to bring deliverance and safety to others. Rahab Hallelujah. Is a, Rahab, is a, Rahab is a harlot, mm. a pagan prostitute. And she hid yeah. the spies. And she said to them, mm -hmm. when, when, when the soldiers are coming up the stairs to get the spies, that's what I call leverage. And she said to the spies, yeah. they said, Look, hide us, we'll give you whatever you want. This woman yeah. could have got the finest house in the town, all the gold mm -hmm. of the, no. She said, you'll save my family. Yeah. Save my family. She occupied. And yes. they said to her, whoever is in this house, listen to me, if you're watching with unsaved loved ones, Mm -hmm. the, the, the Israeli soldiers, the spies, said to this pr pagan prostitute, yeah. whoever is in this house when we come back to Jericho will be saved. And she mm -hmm. went out and got, you imagine trying to get people to come and stay in a house of prostitution. And she <laughs> gathers all her family. And when the, mm -hmm. the children of Israel march around the, the city of Jericho, the Bible says the walls fell flat. Not all the walls fell flat because Rahab yeah, lived yeah. in the house, in the wall. On the wall, yeah. And when the wow. shout went out, wow. the house on this side fell, the house on that side fell, but her pea patch, mm -hmm. the place that she occupied, Glory. the place that yes. she said, no, 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 mm -hmm. devil, you're not coming into my space. Death, you're not taking my family away. And when the moment she took yeah. that stand and she says, this is mine, what happens is the divine Hallelujah. takes place. The walls fall away yes. from her. You imagine her sitting there in the house on each side gone. Mm -hmm. And then the spies come back and say, Glory. you are true to your word. And Rahab married someone, mm -hmm. Solomon, yes. and had a son called yeah. Boaz. And Boaz... Yeah was the father of Jesse, and Jesse was the father of David. She wasn't yes. just occupying herself to save her mm. family. Yes. She was putting mm. herself into the lineage of Hallelujah. Jesus Christ himself. Wow. So what you're doing wow. today in your church, what you're doing today in your home, this isn't yeah. just a five-minute job. You may be thinking, well, what's, mm. what's the point? You don't know if there's a Billy Graham in your, in your future. 
one of your grandkids. Right. You don't know if there's a Catherine Coleman yeah. coming up through your mm -hmm. lineage. But if you will That's occupy right. the space that God has anointed you to be in, then he will Glory. move heaven and earth. He'll, he'll knock yes. walls down to get to you. He'll save you. Every mm -hmm. house falls in the town. You will not fail in the name of Jesus.